Hello everybody, this is Charu Bharotra, founder of online magazine WomenLines.com. It's a pleasure again to be at Bringer Academy. Thank you so much to Bringer Academy to give me opportunity to share my views. As I've started my series on the topic women empowerment, and every time I'm speaking about some important topic concerning women empowerment. As last month, I spoke about the mindset game. This month, I want to highlight on health as well topic. Tell me friends, what do you mean by being healthy in life? To be healthy means to be out of any disease, to live life without any illness and feel you fit and fine, isn't it? Everybody wants to be healthy, but people are not able to lead healthy life, especially women, because they are not giving themselves priority. So I want to raise this awareness first that you have to give priority to your health first. People say, in fact, women folks say that their family comes first, they have to take care of their family, their kids, where is the time to take care of themselves? But tell me friends, if you are not fit and fine and healthy, how you are going to take care of your family? You have to give priority for your health first, then only you can give full focus on your family. So what comes for being healthy? You have to take care of what you eat. You have to be mindful of your exercise routine. You have to be particular about how you are taking care of your fruits intake. And there are so many other ways to take care of your health. So as you are planning to do for your family, your husband, your kids, your other relatives, you should be mindful about your food intake and fruit intake also. In today's time, it is really easy and it's through technology, we can follow so many influencers around who are certified mm -hmm. and who are sharing awesome knowledge of how to take a care of our health in the best way. So take out time to read, take out time to create awareness on those topics. Many uh, influencers are sharing very specific topic uh, uh, speeches like what should be eaten, what shouldn't be eaten. If you have certain illness, what you should be avoiding. If you have certain problems, what you should not be avoiding. I mean, you should be mindful whom you are following and you should be taking action. Whatever you are learning, you have to take action to implement in, in your life and follow it regularly. The first is start taking care of your mm -hmm. health. In a way, first you have to take care of what you are intaking. The second is what you are, uh, what fruits are you taking? And the third is scheduling it on everyday routine by following the right influences on uh, internet, or you have some friend who can guide you, take his or her uh, guidance, but make it a habit. Because don't you think if you are ill, then your kids will never like it. Which kid will like having a mother who is open, uh, having problems, and she is having some illness? She, the kid will never be happy. Therefore, you have to give priority to your health first. Till now, health is considered just to be out of illness or having a fit life. But there are other patterns also. Besides having food, the right food, right fruit, the exercise routine is a must for every woman in uh, her life, I suppose. So follow some passion, follow some liking for some exercise routine. You can join Zumba classes, you can have yoga sessions, take out time to learn these skills and implement it at home. You don't have to go out of your home. You can follow on internet and carry out the exercises in your own room, in your comfort level, at your comfortable time. The problem is all action because women folk often say they don't have time. But you have to take out time, friends. Trust me. Once you start taking care of your health, once you start taking care of your fitness level, you can perform better. You can give more energy to your other roles which you're playing in your life. So start taking care of your health in these ways. Start taking care of your food intake, fruit intake, start taking care of when you're exercising, when you are planning to join some new uh, hobby classes. This will certainly help you to maintain a good health. Besides having a good health in terms of getting out of illness or keeping illness away, I consider two other types of health very important for anybody's well-being. There's mental health, there's spiritual health. Physical health is definitely very good and we should be focusing. We, should, we all should be focusing how to have 
of very good physical health in our life. But what comes under mental health? Friends, mental health is a topic which is spoken about across the world and it has, it has been discussed around in med medical fraternity in a big way. Researchers have proved that women folk are more prone to depression and they have more chances to fall under various mental health problems as they are growing and as they are aging. So why don't we women folk take it as a challenge and we know that we, it is there, we have to keep ourselves safe from all these diseases. So we have to make sure that we are following certain ways so that these problems are not coming in our life. What does mental health mean? Mental health means what emotions you're having, how you are communicating with yourself, how you are talking about yourself with anybody, how you're expressing yourself in the family. So are you mindful about it? Are you aware about yourself? What exactly your emotions are running inside? I haven't thought about it. If not, please start taking care of it. Because all thoughts, all emotions affect you physically and mentally both. Mm -hmm. So to have the right type of mental health, fit mental health, you should be making sure that you are having right of emotions and right of type of thought process running inside you. There are various ways which can help you. You should be having a journaling habit where you can express yourself what problems you're having or what you want in your life. You can write about your vision, the goal, or whatever problems you're having, you, how you want to find the solution. Start expressing yourself. You can express with your friend also, your relative also, your mother, your guide, whoever, but take responsibility of your thought process because only those thought process is affecting you physically and mentally both. Have laughter therapy often. It's good to be uh, good to laugh in life. So make sure that you're having your laughter dose every day. Plus, you also make sure that you're having your uh, interact interaction sessions, you are uh, speaking to your colleagues or friends, or you are socializing in a way you are having some social connections because then only you can express yourself in a better way. So mental health is something which has to be taken care of, like physical health. Nowadays, there are various ways where you can be mindful about your mental health. There are various apps where you can uh, share about yourself. You, that can be private to you. And you can just talk, uh, put uh, your notes. You can list out what problems you're having, or why, what you don't feel good about it. Or there are certain other ways where you can just make a list out of it and you are aware that what you have to take care how to be mentally fit so take care take help from those apps there are certain apps if you google out you will come across many so start uh, using those apps ease up your life keep yourself stress-free because stress is the other factor which we have to take care it's a common buzzword and everybody talks about it in such a comfort way that it has become a part of life but we have to face it and we have to come out of it so you should be having your strategy to de-stress yourself so what you can do to de-stress yourself, which can help you to be mentally fit. So you can have your uh, favorite uh, dance classes if you love dancing. You can have your uh, hobby. You can run once a week. You can just sit for your me time where you're having your own hobby. Sketching, gardening, singing, karaoke classes, exercise routine. I mean, there are so many ways where you can have your only me time and express yourself and think about yourself and take care of your mental health. These all ways will be helping you to keep the stress away from you. And if you are stress-free, you are happy, then only you can perform other duties, friends. I will repeat again and again. You have to be fit all means, in all means, physically, mentally. The third topic which I want to highlight is the spiritual health, which is also some uh, big topic. Few people are aware about it, but yes, spirituality is, uh, spiritual health is also very important. It is the way you are related to the supreme power, who, whatever religion you are following. It's okay, but it has to be some internal communication with that supreme power. How you relate yourself with surroundings, with your environment, that gives you spiritual health. Are you thinking also or not? Because that's also important. So think about your spiritual health also. Under spiritual health, you have to see, are you living an authentic life? Hope you're not having that high materialistic uh, attitude for your life. 
you are just thinking about earning money, earning the things around yourself and just going on like this. Think about the big questions, why you are here? What's your vision? What do you want to do? What are your goals? All big questions. I don't want to sound like that I'm giving you some, uh, what to say, spiritual talk or uh, something which is going to help you for your spirituality. I want to raise awareness that such thought process help in leading an authentic life. You should be aware how, where you are leading to. What are you setting an example in your front of your kids? What are they seeing? Are they seeing that the parents are very happy only doing shopping? Are they seeing their parents, they are doing some volunteer work where they, they are establishing connections with others? Yes, volunteering is a beautiful mode where you can establish new connections and you can serve the society. Don't keep volunteer work for your old age habit only, where you will think that, okay, you will be doing some volunteer work when you will attain some age and when you will have time. That time will never come. Start thinking from now. Start putting some time for some volunteer work. See what, how much happiness you will get. It will be incomparable to any materialistic achievements which you have. So friends, I really want to request you, start thinking about these topics, physical health, spiritual health, mental health, all these health uh, parameters has to be fit. Then only you can perform well in your life, whether you are playing a role of a mother, a wife, an employee, but as individual human being. If you are not physically fit or mentally fit or spiritual, you are having awareness about these topics, you cannot lead authentic life. So women empowerment, as I always say, is not only, should not only be considered how you're earning money and how you're working from nine to five. No, definitely earning money is a priority. I always say that every woman should be financially independent, but she has to think other topics also besides earning money. She has to take care of her health. She has to be mentally fit so that she can perform her other roles better. Why do you think such things are important? Because we know that how the life is going on and people are often falling ill. Their immunity level is going down. We have so many economic challenges. We have so many environmental challenges around. And if we are not aware of where we are putting our focus, where we are putting our energy and how we are saving ourselves from the negative energy, then we will be just crushed. Trust me, friend, if you are not aware from the beginning, it will be very problematic for you. So take care of your health. Start monitoring yourself. What do you want in life? And how you can be healthy? Once you will start creating awareness about how you can be healthy, it will be helpful not only for yourself, but you can take care of your family better way. You will be aware of all the things which are required for good diet, which you can give uh, to your family. If your family members are having certain problems, if you are putting time in learning that what should be given to them, what should not be given to them, you are helping them out in a way. So educated women, educated women in terms of education and how to keep yourself healthy, how to physically be physically fit and how to be health, healthy in the mental uh, way. So all these topics will be helping you to uh, take care of your family in a better way. So friends, start taking care of all the factors in your life which can help you to lead a better life. At Women Lines, we always talk about such topics which can help women to excel. So we really want to bring that content only which can empower women to excel in life. So always read, always be mindful what you are reading. It can help you to attain better knowledge and you can implement that knowledge for a beautiful life. Life is beautiful, friends, and health as well. So be responsible for yourself, be responsible for your family, and always make sure you are putting your time and energy in attaining the right knowledge and right uh, uh, mental empowerment so that you are delivering your roles in a much better way. So all the best friends, take care, see you next month. Thank you so much for viewing this video. And I will repeat again, start getting responsible for yourself, your health, your family health, and put your energy, not attaining, not only attaining the physical health, be responsible for your mental health, spiritual health, and physical health. Physical health has to be taken into what food you are eating, 
how you are exercising and are you asking your family to follow certain uh, habits, certain routine, which can help them to lead a physically fit life. So all the best friends, take care. Thank you so much.